Good morning, good morning. We have had a question this morning come from one of our customers who is using our winter patterned winter plate. It is C320 or CJS324 rather. And she is questioning how to use the Argyle. So I thought, why not just pop in here and do a quick little video to show you. It's a lot easier to show you than it is to try and explain it. So you've got a couple options here with the Argyle. You can go one color with this guy right here. Not really a true Argyle, but you could do um, a, a gradient or a bunch of different colors and use that image there. But what we're gonna do is a proper Argyle, and we're gonna start with this image here, and then we're gonna use this one to finish, okay? So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna use color number 223, and Go ahead and lay it in. I'm not gonna cover the whole image because this is a narrow little nail, so don't waste any product. Now, to make sure that this image is nice and sharp, I am going to scrape once, but I'm gonna push really hard and then roll right over top and you get that lovely crisp image. So make sure you're using a bit of pressure. Okay, and then we're just going to pop this guy down this first one doesn't really matter where he goes. And now we're gonna to go to the next color and I'm using color number 36. I'm not even gonna clean, because it hasn't been long. Not even gonna bother cleaning that up, because I'm lazy. And you don't need to sometimes, so let's give it a whirl. <laughs> Living on the edge. Okay, so same thing, I'm gonna push nice and hard and I'm ready with my stamper to immediately lift. And there we've got nice crisp edges on that second lift there. Okay, so here's where the magic comes in. So now we are just going to offset from that first, now let's see if I can do this in the camera. I'm looking right in the center at that middle diamond, and I'm gonna make sure that the ones that I'm coming in with are lined up perfectly and once I get there, boom, I'm just gonna commit. And we're in. Now we don't, did we get one in there? We did, but it's a little bit crooked. Let's see if we can come in here from the side. Use something, we've got a little bit extra. Is it gonna stick? Give it a little wiggle. There, we got her to stick. Okay, so there is our two tones. And now we're gonna go to our gold. Let's clean off the scraper so we don't mix the colors too much. And this is number 123. And let's get that on there. Same thing, got my scraper and my stamper in hand. Boom, because this is a really delicate, pretty image. So I wanna be right there to lift that right away. Now, when I'm going to um, lay this guy down, each of these kind of creates a little X and that's, whoops! <laughs> that's gonna go right in the center after we pick it up again, because I just threw it on the floor. <laughs> okay, these are supposed to be like real videos with Debbie. So you know what, I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay. They do hit the floor once in a while, it's true. As long as you got a sticky pad handy to clean it off, you'll be good to go again. So, sticky pad, <laughs> clean off all the dust, because of course it landed, image down. Here we go, good to go again. <laughs> Was it Monday? Okay, 123, here we go again. Second time's a charm. Okay, it's probably gonna be a better lift. Carly always tells me, it's gonna be better this time. This stuff always happens for a reason. <laughs> She's not here yet to laugh at me for dropping that. Okay, so as I was saying before, I am looking at where these crisscross, my little diamonds, and that's gonna go right in the center of each of these little diamonds that we've already put on here. Okay, so now I can see that that's lined up, and I'm gonna line up kind of three of them in a row. And that's what I'm gonna focus on and aim towards. 
shake it in there. And once I get there, push. Soon as that center touches, get in there and give it a push. And then it doesn't wobble, right? Because if you try and roll it down slowly, you can go left, you can go right, you can basically make it wobble. So best thing to do, that first little one, that's the guy I was aiming at right there. As soon as that little touch happens, you can see that the jelly changes there. As soon as that little touch happens, finish it off. And that'll help you to pick those up and put them down nice and straight. So there you go, a proper Argyle with only one blunder in between. All right, well, happy Argyle creating. And I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video.